This is something that I've been anticipating for quite some time. It's a bed mat for the Cybertruck. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. We'll do an unboxing and we'll throw it back there. So the first thing you notice, it has the openings for the D-rings there in, in the bed of the truck. So let's go throw this back there. And... Okay, so the first thing I'll say is it's thicker than I thought it was going to be. And it's more rubbery than I thought it was going to be. As you can see, the placement is really good. It's tight. I mean, obviously it was in a box folded up, so there's some wrinkles, but it fits in there perfectly. I'm excited about this. Oh, that's really nice. It has right here just a little indent for the handle. And then since it has the fold, easy to lift up and it maintains its shape in the bed, but yeah, gives you access to your under storage. So far, so good. I'll go ahead and leave a coupon code and the link down below for you guys, if you guys wanna go ahead and buy it. Okay, so what I wanna do now is we have the bed mat installed into the Cybertruck. What I wanna do is throw a pallet of goods that I need to go deliver to a customer of ours, put it in the back, and then just kinda see how the bed mat does with that as far as durability, I mean, one thing that I am impressed with is it's not the thickest mat in the world, but it's not thin by any means. It does have a texture on it that I think is gonna do really well with grip. It is grippy. I thought it was gonna be more plastic. It is rubbery. I like how it goes up the sides of the bed of the truck. Once again, there's the cutouts for the D-rings which is really nice. The folds for being able to put this up, cargo area of the truck. It's not like it's struggling with that because of a heavy mat or a lack of a fold. So, so far without actually using it for truck things, I'm pretty impressed with the mat itself. So let's go ahead and get the pallet loaded onto the truck and then um, we'll take it to the customer, deliver it, and then we'll circle back around and see how the mat actually did with uh, its first load. So one thing that I wanna note real quick that I don't think I've ever mentioned in a video is I wish that Tesla would have put a camera that looks into the bed of the truck. And the reason why I say that is because I know there's a lot of trucks on the market that have that capability. And usually what it's for is for fifth wheel, um, gooseneck hitches. Um, you know, that way when you're trying to hitch up your trailer, you have that view to line up the ball with your hitch that's in the bed. So, and I know the Cybertruck isn't built for that, but it would have still been nice given the fact that the vault back there or the bed, you know, it has that tonneau. And when looking in the rear view mirror, you can't see anything back there. Um, it's pitch black. So I know I have a pallet back there. My rear window is not tinted and yet you still can't see your cargo. So um, wish they would have done that. I know that I could probably buy some type of camera and mount it back there somehow to get that view. But once again, I shouldn't have to do that. Shouldn't have to buy another accessory when I'm paying $100,000 for a truck. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in the rear view mirror. So that's being able to see what's back there. Now, let me open up the tanu and I'll show you how then there will be visibility. See how now you could see the pallet that I put back there. But once again, if I'm trying to be efficient and get the maximum rain, I want that tonneau closed. But I would like to see my cargo just to make sure that it's not moving around back there. It's not sliding around. It's not doing anything funny. Just figured I'd give my two cents and kind of point that out. Now let's go ahead and close it. And then it goes pitch black.
Это один. Включай. As you can see, there was some rubbing from the pallet. Nothing too bad. I guess the point of talking about this isn't so much as, oh, did we scratch up the bed mat? Because that's the whole point of it, is to protect the actual bed of the truck from scratches and let this thing get beat up. So I'm not too concerned about that, but I kind of wanted to just see, as you guys could see in the previous clip, that the pallet was dragged out a little bit. So there is some rubbing. You could even see some shavings of wood, but it's not like this mat shredded to pieces and ripped on the first usage. So obviously it's, it's only the first load that was put in here and used, but it held up well. I'm encouraged by the result. I think this bed liner and bed mat is gonna be a great addition for the truck. And if any of you guys are interested in getting one, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link also with the coupon code down in the description so you guys can uh, get your own. So really happy with it so far. Thanks guys.